the book of Joshua in chapter 6 gives us such a detailed account of how the city was mighty and fortified and yet demolished by Joshua and his people. He addresses Goliath as an uncircumcised Philistine. Why is this so important? Because he brings up the covenant. And the Philistines are totally shocked. David takes Goliath's sword, decapitates the guy, like holds up his head. The Philistines freak out, they run, and the Jews win an incredible victory. You know that archaeologists love destructions because, you know, the misfortune of the ancients is our fortune. We even found an inscription which mentions two names that are very similar to the name Goliath. The first real miracle was the fact that Israel took out the air force of all of its enemies. One percent of the population was killed in the war. That's an enormous number of people. Why would a loving and just God favor one nation over another, ensure their continued survival, and promise them, and only them, this land? These are the questions I hope to answer as we explore some of Israel's most astounding, miraculous victories.